just in, Obama's horrifying anti-Trump move just put millions of Americans in danger. It has been apparent since the beginning of the presidential race last year that Barack Obama did not want Donald Trump to steal the White House from his best bud Hillary Clinton. They thought that everything was planned out. Well, they thought wrong, and now we are in danger. According to the Washington Free Beacon, former Obama administration officials, as well as people who were held over from the last presidency, are getting their hands on leaked, anti-Trump information, and circulating it. In essence, Obama's former staffers are creating a huge national threat to every single one of us. Two of the biggest stories to come from leaks originated from the Washington Post and the New York Times, respectively. The first story revealed supposedly classified secrets about how the Obama administration was meant to slow down Russia with cyber attacks. Detailed plans were exposed, and needless to say, the surprise factor is gone. The second story is about an operation involving Israel and their cyber defense operations. It seems like we had all of these big plans in the works, and when push came to shove Obama back down and left them on the table for his criminal buddies to leak. Part of us has to wonder if they were not left there intentionally. Maybe they were left just to make trouble for Trump when he made it into office. It is an infuriating prospect, but with the way the left has been acting it wouldn't surprise us one bit. Insanely enough, these leaks have been tied directly to Obama officials. There isn't even a question of maybe, Colin Call, former national security adviser to Vice President Joe Biden, was one of the biggest violators and was Ben Rhodes, who was also the former National Security Council official who designed a House echo chamber. The purpose of the SECO chamber was to mislead reporters about matters of national security involving nuclear deals with Iran. You can see a developed pattern here. People left over from the Obama era had one goal, to make life difficult for President Trump. By inadvertently making his life difficult they are also putting the lives of millions of Americans at risk by leaking top-secret documents, and information to people who have no right knowing our plans or secrets. Instead of standing beside our president and working with him to improve our country not just for themselves, but for every single patriot in this country, the left has chosen this path. It is appalling they feel so superior to us that they can put us all in danger without batting an eye. President Trump is going to buckle down on these people, and when he does, we bet someone will cry and say they are being singled out and oppressed. These pieces of garbage have made their careers based off of singling out and oppressing President Trump. What do you think about this comment below, below?